Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the 2023 Head Radical Pro. Updated with Auxetic technology for 2023, the Radical Pro promises improved ball feedback, a stable response, and controllable power with a slightly softer feel. This racket remains the heaviest member of the Radical family and also features the thinnest beam. Pair that with its 98 square inch head, almost 12 ounce strong weight, and 16 by 19 string pattern, and experienced players will appreciate the predictable power this racket can generate. The Radical Pro has always been one of my favorite rackets from Head, and this update falls right in line. With all those Auxetic updates, I found that these rackets are playing even more solid, and this racket was absolutely amazing, especially off my backhand. I loved hitting backhands with this shot. I felt like it was explosively fast, yet still super stable and gave me a good amount of plow through, and I felt really in command of my targeting. I, if I were to be a little critical, I did find a little bit of an issue hitting balls out of the air with this one, mainly volleys, and anytime I tried to volley from behind the service line, which I know isn't often, but still felt like that sweet spot got a little small, or maybe the racket lost a little stability with that shot out of the air. But on serves, I loved it. I could hit big first serve, and I think I would make some small, tiny little customizations, add some weight here and there to get that swing weight to exactly how I like it. And all in all, I could see this being a top five racket for me. I've always been a big fan of the Radical series, especially the Pro, the specs just align with what I like in a racket. I was a huge fan of the previous version, super excited to hit this one. This racket right off the bat, I noticed uh, had better dampening, it felt more solid than the outgoing version, but it wasn't quite as whippy. So I had to work a little harder when I was looking to generate angles or cut under the ball quickly or brush it with spin. But uh, I, uh, the trade-off was I got better plow through power, I felt like I was hitting with more depth I was able to dig my way out of uh, defensive situations better just because I could use the mass of the racket and that better stability I was finding to push the ball nice and deep and maintain my depth and get back into the point that way. I also found a bit more pop on my serves coming through the court a little better. And just a bit more weight on my shots in general. Spin production was super nice on this one. I loved it at net, super solid on the volleys, got plenty of touch and feel when I want to hit those sneaky angles or drop shots and uh, just an all around really nice update to the Radical line. As always, I'm excited to be here today to talk about Head's new update to the 2023 Radical Pro. I really enjoyed the 2021. I felt like the bigger changes were made to that one and with the new 2023, there's smaller incremental changes in that the 2021 got a bump in five grams of uh, weight-based mass from 310 to 315. This one still maintains the same 315 gram weight but the swing weight came down by about five points. So for me, this one's a lot more manageable. And as you know, I got used to the frame, I might even have room for a little aftermarket um, adding of weight where I wouldn't be able to do that with a racket that starts out in the 330s. So overall, spin production, like Chris mentioned, was stellar. It's the same kind of pattern, which is really tight towards the center, a little more open out towards the edges. I didn't really have a favorite shot. It's just a great all-court racket. I would say like Michelle, um, my one-handed backhand was complemented pretty nicely. I was able to keep the slice nice and low, still come over the top of the ball, but overall just a fantastic kind of an incremental update to the Radical Pro line. First things I noticed when playtesting this update to the Radical Pro was an improvement in feel for me, as well as the weight of this racket in stock form. I thought was a, a nice blend of maneuverability as well as having good plow through and stability. Um, the previous version I thought was a big improvement, kind of like what Mark was talking about, and this one just minor tweaks, but um, I did feel like the feel of this update was a little more solid, felt really stable. Um, when I was at the baseline, I felt like I could drive through the ball well, and uh, there was a good amount of pop coming off the racket as well from the baseline and on serve. Um, with the 16-19 pattern, I felt like I got good spin. It's not a super open 16-19, uh, so there's good spin, but I also felt like good connection to the ball when I was hitting flat or um, hitting the slice. So good balance there. As far as the feel goes, I thought that uh, it has good dampening, so it felt pretty comfortable for the stiffness rating, but I also had a good amount of feedback. So whenever I needed that feedback up at the net or on drop shots, I still had good connection to the ball. So overall, I really like this update. Um, like Michelle, I might tweak with the swing weight and just dial it in just slightly and maybe a leather grip because I felt like this racket was pretty comfortable overall, but uh, really impressed. We play tested this racket with a variety of different strings, but for this play test, you're gonna see us using head hawk power as well as head link spin at 52 pounds. For more information about this racket, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.